Hello everybody, how are you doing? Thank you very much for watching my last video about tattooing in Japan with Traveling Mick. I got so much feedback. I appreciate your considerations, positive vibes, and interest for art in my country. We are happy and amazed to see how much support to Japan we get from all over the world. So let's talk more about Japan today. As I got many requests, today I would like to talk about Japanese dragon. Japanese dragon is called Ryu. It is an imaginary animal which has a superpower. Ryu is made out of nine parts of other animals. Can you guess which animals? Two horns are from a deer. The paws are taken from tiger, while the talons borrowed from hawk. It has the body of snake and the belly like Mizuchi. Mizuchi is also an imaginary animal, kind of snake with legs. The eyes from Oni, which is an evil demon, and the scales on the body are of course from koi fish. Funniest part is the ears from a cow and the head itself is from a camel. Are there camels in Japan? No, but same as many other cultural elements in my country, the dragon originally came from China. In Japan, we always believed in magical snakes and their worship merged into local belief together with the dragon. Snake has very important and interesting role in Japan. I can't wait to talk about snakes on another video. Dragon became important as folk belief all over Japan, mainly as god of water, not fire like dragon in Western culture, or Game of Thrones. Japan was a very agricultural country with lots of rice, but in old times, we did not have good water irrigation system, so drought was always a life-threatening problem. No rain means very small crop. No harvesting means no food. No food, no life. So no water, no life for Japan. Always when there was a long spell of dry weather, People call dragon for water by giving food as offering or praying with high priest. Japanese dragon and water are inseparable. There are big paintings of dragon at many many temples and shrines on the ceiling. As they are protecting you from fire with his water power and shower you with rain of enlightenment. Did I mention you that fire was a big problem in Japan? All buildings are made of wood and paper and can burn very easily. As artwork, mainly for tattoos, you can often see a pair of dragons. One dragon is going up and another is going down. Yin and Yang means the balance of energy. Like we talked about koi fish before, the one going up stands for the struggle to be enlightened and symbolizes working hard on improving yourself and trying to make your wish come true. The koi fish pair is more about business success, like more money, but the dragon can contain wishes of a different kind too. The one going down stands for spreading the enlightenment to every single life. It symbolizes fruition and your wish to be granted by the universe. Among the most famous and popular Japanese dragons is the azul dragon from the famous four symbols. The others are the vermilion bird, the white tiger, and black turtle. Each one is protecting one fourth of the world. The azul dragon is protecting the east. The dragon also shows the spring season. So you often see the combination of dragon with sakura, tree blossoms on tattoos, symbolizing spring. It is also known as blue-green dragon. When you say, I am blue, or I feel blue in English, it means I am feeling down or I am sad. Even though your skin color definitely is not blue. Like this, in Japan, we also use colors 
to describe situations or feelings. If I say, you are still blue, can you guess what does it mean? I have to explain about Japanese color first. In ancient times, there are only four colors in Japanese language, black, white, red, and blue. And these colors explain not only actual color, but also an atmosphere or emotion. What is your image for blue? For us, it is young and fresh, lively, juicy, and vibrant. We say blue mountain or blue woods to admire freshness of young plants and leaves in spring. It doesn't mean that mountain has blue color, but we say mountain is so blue to describe how fresh it is in spring. So if somebody tells you you are still blue, it means you are still young and fresh, maybe not experienced enough. In English, you say you are still green, right? Azul dragon originally has the color of green, like green mountain, but holds the meaning of blue, young and fresh energy. With the passage of time, people start to distinguish color between blue and green, and also mixed up with the meaning of those words. <laughs> I used to say, oh, traffic light is blue, let's go. So nowadays, you can see blue color azul dragon, but originally it was more green color. Do you think four colors is not enough? Now we say there are about 540 traditional Japanese colors which have names, but human can distinguish up to 7.5 million colors. Human is fascinating. What is your favorite color? Do you think azul dragon should be green or blue? Do you prefer green dragon or blue dragon? Let me know your opinion on the comment below. And are you curious about the other three symbols? Please subscribe and wait for the next video. I will talk about the other three too. Sai wa gu. Jang gen Thank you very much for watching today. Bye, mata ne.